Good morning, brothers and sisters of the hook. I decided to go out solo today because I really want to drop my underwater cams down um, out at my special little reef. Make sure there's some red snapper on there because on Friday, Big John and I are probably going to go out for our last red snapper day of the season. Let's see if we can put another red snapper and some other trigger fish or vermilion in the cooler. But for right now, I'm looking to see if I can find some finger mullet. I got a couple in my live well right there. Just a couple. They're starting to, they're starting to gather together and starting to move. So I'm going to go up here and see if I can cast in a few more. And then I'm going to head offshore. Be back in a bit. Well, I'm out here just kind of looking at the bottom. Thought I'd drop a line down. Didn't see too much down there. I think I got me a mother-in-law. <laughs> I think I got me a mother-in-law fish here. Oh, nope. Not a mother-in-law. There's an octopi. That's an octopi. I think I'm just going to leave him on here for a little while. Because I've heard they are great bait. I haven't had an octopi in a long time. I'm not going to put it on the bottom yet. I'm trying to catch some bait. Well, well, I lost that <clears throat> squid. He just or squid octopus. He just came off. Uh, still haven't found ground zero yet. I need to go find ground zero. I'm just kind of playing around. Not having much luck even catching grunts. Time to go. If you're not where the fish are, you go find the fish. Yeah. Well, I put the old sabiki down to catch the bait. Something big came along and pop, popped it right off. So I'll put a sardine on here. Circle hook on the bottom. I actually see it already. Oh, I'm going to let these cams down here when the sun gets up a little bit. I think we found some probably red snapper. Whoa, look at there. There's a probably a little red snapper. Like them a little bit bigger than that. But it's good to see that not all of them have been caught. Yeah. Try another one. Got a live finger mullet, big one down here on the bottom. Something hit it nice and hard. And it spit it out. There we go. That might be it again. Come on. Nope. Now, this feels a little more like what I'm looking for, except I think I've just been Goliath. Oh, oh gosh. Yep, or sharked. I don't say Goliath anymore, I say sharked. I think I've been sharked. Yeah, it looks like he swallowed the whole thing. Pop me off. Yep. Leader, sinker, and all. Massive something over here. Massive something. Who knows? Let's see if we can catch something of the it. Oh, looks like they're turning around and going back the other way now. Oh my. This is on a floater. Sardine on a floater out back. And I've been chumming. I got a feeling this is just a big red nipper. But that's what I'm looking for if I can keep away from that bag of shark or goliath. Whatever it is that's down there. Making my life miserable. 
Still don't see him yet. Come on. Oh, there he is. Big red. Yeah, I guess I'm probably going to come here on Friday. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. What was that? Ugh. Yep, big red snapper. Big, beautiful red snapper. That circle look is right in the side of the jaw. That's all. It's about a 30 incher. Haven't caught a big one like that in a while. All right, Big John. We're coming here. There he goes. We're coming here, big boy. Another monster. Oh, my goodness. Another monster. He's heading for the bottom. Oh, goodness. Stay up here. Come on. Oh. This is just my medium action. Look at the stick. Oh. <laughs> that was a smart fish and a big one. Let's see if he broke me off. He might have made it in the structure. Yeah, I don't think I got a hook. That was about a seven knot circle. Triple strength. Oh, let me sit down after that. Now this is on the other side. Oh, and it's on a heavier pole. If I can keep the monsters on the bottom from eating this monster. Oh, goodness. Come on. Wow. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Okay. This is mid column sardine. Haven't put, haven't cut any grunts up yet for cut bait. Yeah, just a great big red snapper. I see him down there. See him? I heard there's some nice big Kobe out here. Haven't seen one yet. I'd sure like to see one. Okay. Look at all that bait out there. That's unreal. Let's get this guy in. Back down before I have to vent him. I don't like sticking holes in him. I have a descending tool. There he goes. Don't have to stick a hole. Don't have to distress him anymore. Whoo, thank you, Lord. Gives me a good idea where to come Friday. Yeah, look at that. Huge. Probably all big red snappers. Yikes. Just threw a couple of bits of chum out. Old smelly sardines. I cut up. Actually saw this guy come up and start eating uh, chum bits. Can't tell if he's a red snapper, but I saw his back. Love for one of these things to be a daggum mangrove. Or anything else. It looks like it's Mr. Red Snapper again. You know, down that deep, it's a little bit murky the water. And uh, you just can't tell if it's a mangrove when it's kind of deep. Right in this side of the loop. That's actually the size that you want to take home. You don't want to take them great big ugly monsters home that don't taste all that good. That's about a 20. 2.3 incher. Goodbye. See you on Friday. Whew. Love it. Love it. Just love it. I had a hit on this live finger mullet. Not sure what's going on. I think we're about to find out. Might be nothing but a shark.
it is weird it is weird like it's a daggone shark sucker sure enough shark sucker on my live finger mullet Ugh. oh well just under the boat just a dead sardine halfway to the bottom Ugh. <laughs> this is the place to be for nothing in the cooler until Friday Ugh. oh yeah I see you down there I see you big guy I gotta size this horse. It's about another 30 incher. Maybe a little bit bigger. Now, these are fun to catch compared to sharks. Sharks are no fun to catch. There you go, big girl. She's gone. Whew. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I had too small of a circle hook. I lost three or four fish just because of the circle hook wouldn't wouldn't grab. So I upped my circle hook to about a seven odd. I think I had like a five odd on here. And sure enough, that's the magic. That's the magic. It's not a big guy, but it's a guy. And pretty soon I might just start trying to put some some weight on here and get down to the bottom see if I can get something other than red snappers they're just everywhere out here still I thought the weekend crowd they let me down they were supposed to thin the herd out I don't think you did that oh man that's a beautiful fish wow look at that glowing mm -mm 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 -mm. glowing 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 yeah <clears throat> Whoa. Keep going, keep going. Gone, gone, gone. Whew. All right, this was on the bottom with a shrimp. It'd be great if this was something other than a red snapper. But it feels good like a red snapper, but you know, it could be a mangrove. But he's just too light colored, I think. Yeah, just a little red snapper. Call him on a blasted shrimp. A blasted shrimp. Uh -huh. I think I'll let him go. Well, I moved once, just a kind of a flat area to see if there's fish out here. And there seems to be. I'm about ready to head in. Didn't catch anything but red snapper. So I need everybody to come out this next red snapper weekend and catch 50 or 60 each. So we can thin the herd out and let something else grow. Just kidding. Just kidding. Goodbye, Mr. Red Snapper. There's another Red Snapper. All right, let's move to our artificial reef. Just to play around a little bit. All right, guys, I have moved, and gals, I have moved to a artificial reef just to see if all the red snapper been caught oh look at there they have not all been caught man oh well I guess I'll have to have to come out here and catch some more on the weekend myself can't rely on the fishermen of the hook to catch all of them I gotta catch a couple I guess all right sardines just throwing old dead old sardines down haven't seen much topwater action. Had one, actually I did. I saw a bunch of flying fish. I had one break off on a mono line on the back. Probably a king. Put wire on, of course they were gone. Well, there's the skunk out of the boat. A lane snapper. But I'm gonna let him go. 
I don't think I'm going to have to vent him if I get him back in the water fast enough. He'll get down. There he goes. He's going to make it. If he doesn't get eaten by a barracuda. Bye-bye. Going down. And I guess the big ones didn't all get caught off the reefs either. Off the artificial reefs. All I did was throw a little bit of chum out. Get a sardine on halfway down and wham all. Oh, goodness. This is a big boy. Yep, look at him down there. Holy moly. Side of the lip. 30, 32 inches. Big boy, big boy. Here at the artificial reef. Wow. Big one, big, 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 big one. Okay. We'll catch one or two more, then we'll go home. Look at that red snapper. See they got red snapper right there? Chummed him up off the bottom. Chum. Just chum. Big old red snapper. Eating everything I'm throwing in there. And there's a, looks like a Almaco. Nope, trigger. That's a trigger fish. A little trigger. Not a big enough trigger. There he is. Or there is a big red snapper. Only about 20 feet down. Saw a couple of them come up and fight over some, <laughs> fight over my uh, sardine. Wham! I just love it. I love this. Whoa, look at that big shark down there. Oh man. Oh man, look at that shark. And that shark. And that shark. I think I've had enough of sharks. There were a bunch of sharks. Well, that's one way to thin the red snapper out. Wow, I think I'll go home now. <laughs> wow. See all them fish? Most of them red snapper. I just saw a whole three or four big ones. I might have caught one of them. And he took me down in a pipe. Ooh, it's a lot of fun. Big red snapper.